And we're talking Michigan, we're talking life or death. We're talking like, you need to call the paramedics. You need somebody to take the lead. That's where giving the answers makes a difference. I'm Jonathan. I'm here to flip the script on everything you thought you knew about construction. You want another cool idea? To sit and bubble in your brain? This one's magical too. See, here's the thing. They're all magical in their own little ways. Don't give answers. Ask better questions. It's super simple. Yet we forget about it. Because in our lives, in our professional careers, in the construction world, it's always like, you know, who's wrong? Who, who screwed up? You know, who's going to pay for that? And, 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 and you want to give all these magical answers in the way things should have been done or could have been done. You know, and we armor up. We want to give somebody shit. We want to tell them how wrong they did things. I'm sitting here to tell you what changes, and I asked you to ask yourself this, what changes when you ask better questions? It's really easy to give the answers based on your own presuppositions, your experiences, and everything else you think you thought you knew in life until you stop and ask the question. And when somebody comes with you with a problem, what's the first thing you want to do? You want to volley into, here's how we're going to fix it. And you want to go into disaster recovery mode. And that might serve well if it's a mission critical thing. And we're talking mission critical, we're talking life or death. We're talking like, you need to call the paramedics, you need somebody to take the lead. It's that CPR training, it's like, I need one person to make the decision. That's where giving the answers makes a difference. Everything else is about asking better questions. When somebody runs in with a problem, ask yourself, ask them these questions. I'm gonna give you three things. What have you already tried? See, they're a human being. They've already tried something. They're going to come to you with this, here's what I've already tried. And shut up and listen for the response. And then pivot into, what would you like to do? Because again, they're highly intelligent, highly skilled. That's why they're in the position they're in. What do they want to do? Peel back. Shut up and listen. And the number one fundamental question you can really ask is, if you couldn't get a hold of me, what would you like to do? Because there are going to be times in life where you're wholeheartedly not going to be available, whether it be physically, mentally, or everything else in between. And when you shut up and listen and peel back for the response, that gives you insight to the person in front of you. And that is how we create, we invoke creativity. That is how we problem solve. That is how we build trust organically, psychological safety, and get the right people in the right spot. Because if somebody is, knows that they're seen, heard, and understood, they're going to perform better. They're going to stick around better. They're going to want to be in that orbit. Three things. What have you already tried? What would you like to do? And if you couldn't get a hold of me, what would you have done?